नमस्कार सो इन टूडेज वीडियो दिस वीडियो विल बी शॉर्ट बट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सो मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो ओके सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विथ आवर टॉपिक ओके सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज कंडीशन फॉर पैरल एंड परपेंडिकुलर लाइन्स ओके तो फॉर पैरल एंड परपेंडिकुलर लाइन्स वी हैव सम कंडीशंस ओके सो गिवेन टू स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो ओके एंड अनदर लाइन ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू ओके वी हैव टू लाइन्स ओके सो हेयर वी हैव टू कंडीशंस ओके The uh, the first condition is about for the parallel lines that if lines are parallel, okay, if lines are parallel to each other, then we have a condition a one cross b two equals to a two cross b one. Okay, so if this condition is satisfied between these two equation, then we can say that these two lines, these two lines are parallel to each other okay so uh, in other words we can also say that a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 okay so if we got this condition then we can say that these two lines are parallel to each other okay same we have a condition for perpendicular line okay perpendicular line that is a1 cross a2 equals to minus times b1 into b2 okay if uh, this condition is satisfied okay this condition if we have this condition okay so we can say that these two lines are perpendicular to each other okay so this uh, this is the condition for perpendicular line okay the condition for perpendicular line and this is the condition for parallel lines okay or here you can also see that if uh, the coefficients of uh, both the variables are interchanged and sign are negative then also they are perpendicular to each other okay now moving toward our next topic that is a uh, finding a distance of a line from a given point okay finding a distance of a line from a given point let's say we have a point Uh, this is the point x1 comma y1 okay and we have a given a line okay we have given a line uh, its equation is let's say ax plus by plus c equals to 0 okay this is the question and we want to find the distance between these two this uh, this distance of this point from this line okay we want to find this distance okay so the formula of distance is nothing but this okay what is the formula the formula is basically d equals to the mod of a x1 plus b y1 plus c okay and upon a square plus b square okay so this is our formula okay and um, where ax plus by plus c is our c equals to 0 is our equation of line okay this is our equation of line and x1 comma by 1 is basically our point so what we do we will do that uh, we will put the point x1 y1 in this line and we will then take the mod of that and uh, divide it by the under root of a square plus b square if uh, uh, we talk about example for example let's say uh, line 2x plus 3y uh, plus 2 equals to 0 is a line and we want to find the distance between from 2 comma 3 then d will be nothing but mod 2 into uh, we will put x okay the point 2 here so 2 into 2 plus 3 into 3 plus 2 okay model mod under root a square a square is what 2 square 
plus 3 square and when we calculate we will uh, get the distance okay why we have taken more because distance is positive okay so 4 plus 9 plus 2 divided by root under 4 plus 9 that will be equals to 9 to 11 plus 4 that is 15 by root under 9 plus 4 is that is 13 okay so this will be our distance and we will then rationalize it so it will be root 13 by root 13 that will be 15 root 13 by 13 okay so this is our distance now let's next move to what are very important topic okay you will get a question from here okay also you will get a question from here also okay but this is more important like this is 100 percent sure you will get a question from here that is the sum of square error okay what is sum of square error sum of square error or sse is the sum of square sum of the squares of the deviation sum of the squares of the deviations okay deviation of the predicted linear model predicted linear model linear model okay linear, linear means a line okay so linear model from the actual data set okay from the actual data set this is the sum of a squares of the deviations okay numerically if we talk then if we are given a set of n points x x i y i okay where i is 1 2 3 4 up to up to n okay if we are given a point x i y i okay and we have a line of fit that is y equals to mx plus c like we have a given a line and set of points then the ssc will be calculated as the, using this formula okay let uh, let's uh, first visualize what is ssc so let's say we have given uh, some points okay we are given some points here 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 also here 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 okay these are the points these are some points okay here 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 so what we have to do we have to find a uh, and we are also given a line y equals to mx plus c okay so y equals to mx plus c let's say this is the line okay and this line is known as best fit line okay best fit line okay so what ssc will do ssc will calculate like this is uh, basically ssc help us to calculate the best fit line okay ssc is what basically ssc uh, will do that this distance okay you can see this distance okay uh, here from point this distance this distance okay this distance so ssc will find a best suitable line from which the distance from every point to that line is minimum okay from distance from every point to that line should be minimum okay that is what ssc calculates okay sum squared error okay so how we will calculate the uh, sse okay this is the formula remember this is what summation of all the points like we have n points so i equals to 1 to n uh, y i minus x of i minus c so we have this equation okay and what do we do like we have y equals to mx plus c so we did what y minus mx and minus c equals to 0 so we have taken the summation of this line okay and we have put the values of the points okay the points here and we then take summation okay and now let's understand this with uh, example so we have this example okay let's say this example uh, we have a line we have given a line y equals to 2x plus 2 we have given a line okay for the data shown below this is our data okay compute the sum of squared error we have to compute the sum of squared error this is our formula okay and here you can see that m equals to 2 okay m equals to 2 and c c is what c is basically the intercept the intercept okay so c is also given we have to find the ssc so we know that sse equals to nothing but the summation of summation of i equals to 1 to n okay yi 
and this is how we find this is basically by i minus m x i minus c square how this how we get that this is we get from this okay y minus 2x minus 2 okay so here this will be nothing but summation of i equals to 1 to n this will be y i minus m is what 2 x i and minus c is what 2 so this will be and we will then do square okay so then we uh, now we what have to do like we have to put the points okay we have this point 1 comma 5 2 comma 6 4 comma 9 and 9 comma 18 so when we put this in this equation so at the place of y i we have the let's say for, uh, we will write for summation okay uh, uh, that is not so when we find the we will try to find the ssc so what we have first y1 okay minus 2 x1 minus 2 okay for this first point uh, plus uh, square also and for second we have y2 plus 2 x2 minus 2 and this is not plus this is minus okay so minus 2 and this also square plus we have third point so y3 minus 2x3 minus 2 square also we have fourth point that is fourth minus 2x4 minus 2 square okay so when we will put the uh, coordinates here so y will be 5 minus 2 into x1 2 into 1 that is 2 and here 1 is here x this is x point and this is y point for this is basically x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 this is x3 x4 same y3 and y4 we have to put every all the uh, values here so x1 is basically 1 so this will be 2 minus 2 square plus y2 is nothing but 6 minus and x2 is basically 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 minus 2 okay and so on y3 will be 9 minus 2 into 8 minus 2 square plus y4 is nothing but 18 minus 18 and minus 2 square okay and we'll click all calculate this so it will be one square as two minus two is four minus five is one square plus six minus six so this will be zero okay plus nine uh, minus ten is basically minus one square and here also we get minus two square and when we will do one plus one plus four we will get six as our answer this is the value of sse okay so this is how we will find the sse and this topic is really really important okay so this is what for today video thank you if you like the video please hit a like and subscribe okay and also share to your friends thank you bye bye